Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for December 14th, 2022. The character of this island and the mod first are specialized. Start with five copies of a single card. Order, when if you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer move cards from your deck of the merchant. And binary card rewards contain only two cards. I forget, do I get five cards or I get, do I get 15 cards? I think I get 15 cards because of Hoarder, right? Oh well, I see Sita here in 8th place, pretty good, 1569, Monkey Bone, 1376, so oh, that's a huge difference actually. Uh, Alright, so I, I, hmm, now I'm a little worried. Alright, let's review the scores from yesterday. Um, Sita ended up in the top 20 together with I'm Pogging with 18th, uh, tied at 18th and 19th place with 1462. So Sita was able to, um, well, got the same score as I did, but was able to get the Overkill modifier thanks to a Dark Orb, and also was able to get the Speedster modifier. Uh, I know Monkey uh, Bone, for example, mentioned that uh, Monkey Bone could have gotten the Overkill modifier, but would have had to sacrifice the Speedster, so congratulations for playing quickly. And then I'm Pogging got very, very lucky with the Dead Branch, I suspect similar modifiers there. Um, uh, Chef in the Cloud and Vorpal tied, and Equi actually, they all tied at 1437. Um, so Equi had, uh, actually, I, and I should give a shout out to Equi for finally not, not having a run where, where uh, you missed the uh, perfect with the boss by, by one block or one turn. Um, so Equi was able to get the speed bonus. Um, actually, that yeah, that's the only difference between uh, Equi's and my score. And then also mentioned that Wallet Plants was an MVP, and I do agree with it. It's a really powerful card. Um, and then interestingly, Equi mentioned that um, the Tungsten Rod allowed him to use or to keep uh, the buffer for an extra turn, which I, I was surprised because I thought that buffer and Tungsten Rod don't really interact. So if you do get attacked, even if it's only one HP damage that Tungsten Rod would have uh, absorbed, I thought that the buffer gets sacrificed, but I could be wrong. So just want to make sure that, that's, that that was actually what happened. Um, and then Chef on the Cloud uh, also was able to play a little faster, but also missed the Overkill modifier. Um, oh, sorry, I, I said Monkey Bone, I meant Chef on the Cloud, yeah, right. So could have gotten the Overkill with a Dark War, but would have lost the Speed modifier. Also, was only two cards short from getting being able to get the Instagram Demon modifier, so that could have been another 50 points right there. So yeah, theoretically, 1487 should have been doable. Uh, I end up in 14th and in 28th place with 1416 tied with uh, Panda. I'm pretty happy with that score. Perfected everything, just missed a few extra modifiers here and there. Uh, further down, you have Monkey Bone in 41st place with 1391. Uh, had the same uh, scores as me, just missed the Speedster modifier, so you know I don't I don't want to blame anybody for that. All right, further down, you have Lord of Paper Towel with 1387, uh, pretty good score, and then um, David was uh, not in the top 80. Wait, where is David? Uh, 1362. Oh, it is in the top 80. Okay, yeah, 71st, yeah, 1362. Uh, so check out his video on yesterday's comment. I had two, went for collective bonuses, had two collective bonuses. Um, so missed the 50 points from getting Highlander, but also was able to get in Sigvidian. So really, that's only a difference of uh, 25 points, and also missed one elite. That explains the, the difference of, of 50 points total. Um, and then in uh, the top 100, Batman just barely made it, 98th place with 1339. Um, didn't miss the popper modifier because of a corpse explosion, but was able to get the overkill modifier thanks to that corpse explosion. And then uh, Melazan did not make it to the top 100 with 1287, missed the time eater, so missed the 100 points right there. Um, even though 1287 is not that bad, I think a lot of people were able to perfect everything. Um, also, Melazan went for a different starting deck, had an acrobatics and sneaky strike at the beginning, which was interesting. I hadn't considered that, but um, clearly that also helped a lot. Um, and then, yeah, I do want to mention, uh, so first, um, oh, uh, Pelts um, got a somewhat low score, wasn't able to perfect the Bronze Automaton, also didn't make it to the top 100, which really just proves that Pelts is only human, because otherwise, um, you know, otherwise I would assume Pelts is a bot, because he would get such high scores consistently. Um, all right, and then, so Olay pointed out that um, I had forgotten to edit out one of my coughs in yesterday's video, so uh, right before the Act 1 boss fight, there was a, a cough that I just completely forgot to edit, so then as soon as I saw Olay's comment, I um, edited it inside of YouTube, so in YouTube you can remove parts of the video. So I just, you can see there's a cut right at the end of the Act 1 uh, boss. And then I, as a result, I think what happened was the audio got a little mess, messed up in YouTube. Um, so Meldon pointed out that the uh, there's like a, it's not synced, the audio. And uh, I think that that explains it. Yeah, so YouTube wasn't able to cut it out as well as it, as, as they should have. And then uh, Christoph also pointed out that on the TV stream, he was able to hear the cough still, but on the mobile version, he wasn't. And I think that's because um, the TV stream hadn't probably hadn't updated the new video yet or the, the cut video. And so, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I'll try to avoid, uh, you know, 
leaving coughs in, in my video and uh, you can still hear that I'm still making some cuts because of coughs um, just because uh, I mean I'm feeling much better now it's just every time I talk I start coughing a little bit and my doctor did advise me not to talk but you know I can't really not talk here so I'll, I'll just have to deal with a little bit of coughing but it should clear up very quickly all right so with that out of the way and all my coughing out of the way Let's move on to today's run. So December 40th, uh, 14th, sorry, specialized order and binary. So 15 copies of Noxious Fumes. Oof. Oh, wow. That is, that is going to be a challenge. All right. Well, at least I know I'm going for a poison deck. So there is a three lead path on the left. It has a decent amount of number of question mark rooms. Yeah, I basically just need to pick up as many attack cards. Sorry about that. Just to possibly buy a bunch of cards at the shop. But we'll see what happens here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I mean, might as well play a bunch of Noxious Fumes, I guess. Ugh, that's going to be rough. At least I know I'm not reshuffling those Noxious Fumes. So that's that's a plus there. Um, I can... I can't even kill one of them. Well, I can kill if I do three strikes, right? Oh, two strikes are enough, right? And then a defend. Okay. So at least I'm preserving some HP. Who's my final boss, by the way? Slime. Okay. Yeah, having a bunch of Noxious Fumes is horrible for the slime boss. At least I'm fully defended here. Alright, and then I can kill here. Wow, alright, 14, 8 poison every turn. That's not too bad, I just have to get there quickly. Uh, 3 copies of which of these? I'm thinking prepared just because I have so much junk I have to get through. Um, I mean, in a deck of 30 cards, it's really difficult to say that I, there's something I need to remove. So I think, I think I'll just skip this one. Yeah, preserve the gold. And unfortunately, I don't think I have enough gold to hit the shop, so I think I'll go for a question mark room and just hope for the best for the first elite fight. Mm -hmm. All right, I am getting attacked here, but nothing I can do uh, other than just play more Noxious Fumes. I wonder if I should upgrade the Noxious Fumes too. Not that it would make a huge difference, but I mean, it might help. Who knows? Got a Dex Potion. Skewer might be better. Yeah, let's take Skewer just to have some damage. All right, gain some gold for HP, and then Jawworm. Yeah, look at the sand, right? I mean, sure. All right, and then uh, okay, the turn I don't have, uh, I don't have to worry too much about damage. I'm only drawing defensive cards. That's fine. Okay, and then here, yeah, I guess I'll just do more Noxious Fumes. Why not? Fourteen poison each turn. That should be enough for next turn, right? Okay. All right. If I, if I get, like, a few free turns, I should be fine. Poison Snap prepared. I mean, I could get an early Collector Bonus for prepared, but no, let's take the Poison Snap. I should also sort AUZ, because, of course, I'm going for the Collector Bonuses here. All right, Grumman Knob is going to be tough. Do I want... You know what? Let's keep the Power Potion in case I draw a Wraith Form. Even a, just one Wraith Form alone won't be enough, but might be useful. Let's just do Skewer here, and I don't think I'll do the Prepared. Okay. Yeah, I don't have high hopes of perfecting this one. Let me see what this gives me, though. Thousand Cut Tools with the Trader Infinite Blades. Yeah, again, I don't have high hopes. Let's take the Infinite Blades, I guess, just to have a little bit of more damage. But yeah, there's no way I can fully defend here. Okay. All right, so here I'm a little worried I might die. Because um, I'm taking another 14. I think the next turn I'm, getting, I'm guaranteed to get the 6. Okay. I could fully defend with the Survivor. Let's do that. All right. And the next turn, I'll deal another 8 poison. That's not going to be enough, but I do have enough to kill. Okay, definitely took some damage, but was able to survive, so that's good. We got Kunai. Every time I play 3 attacks in a single turn, gain 1 dexterity. So that was an Essence of Steel. And between these two, I'm not a huge fan. They're very expensive. But I guess if I have to choose, I'll sh I should take the choke. Yep. All right, remove, transform, or upgrade. I am... I don't think there's anything I need to upgrade. I think I'd rather transform one of the Noxious Fumes to be able to get three copies of Tools of the Trade. Well, I wasn't going for Popper anyway, so I guess that's fine. Okay, speaking of, let's start with... Oh, if I do Noxious Fume, I'll wake him immediately, right? I, I can't do Noxious Fumes yet. Uh, let me see if I can get... Ideally, I would get another Tools of the Trade. No, it's, it's fine. I'll wait. It's okay. I do have to be careful not to die here. Okay, there's a second Tools of the Trade. That's good. And then next turn, I think I, I hopefully can start with the Noxious Humes. All right, yeah, this is pretty good. I think I'll just do three Noxious Humes, right? Or is there anything else? No, yeah, I think I'll just do three Noxious Humes. Okay. 
All right, 18. I do need a block card and I don't have any. So that's a problem. Um, I guess I have to drink the Essence of Steel. And um, what, do not more Noxious Fumes? Let's do Tools of the Trade, Noxious Fumes, and Skewer. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was worried about because I am pretty much dead here. Even if I drink the Dex Potion, right? That's only 13, 16 total. I'm getting attacked by 18. Um, I mean, let me reload because uh, clearly I'm dead here. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can do. I'm trying to think. I got a Survivor on the turn that I woke up the enemy. So maybe if I wake him up one extra, one turn earlier, that might change the RNG enough to allow me to be fully defended. or well, not fully defended, to allow me to survive. Let's give that a try. So yeah, this is the turn where I want to wake it up. So let's just do Tonoxious Fumes, okay? Mm -hmm. So here... Um, yeah, I need the Survivor, right? Okay. Oh, no, it's... Okay, so we'll wake up next turn. Okay, that doesn't really help me, but fine, fine. Let's still give it a try, okay? Yeah, right, because it applies a poison at the end of my turn, right? Okay, so here I'm still taking damage, okay? I don't think that really changed anything. Yeah, because next turn I don't draw any defensive guards. Okay, let's try this one more time. I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm starting off with 11 poison. I'm being attacked, and I do have the survivor. That's sort of the point of this exercise, to make sure that I have a survivor. So I'll drink the dex potion and the essence of steel. Play the survivor. I'm still worried that won't help me, right? Because next turn I still will need a bunch of block, and I don't have anything. Yeah, I think I'm done here. I don't think there's anything I can do. All right, all right. I guess I'll I'll uh, restart and try this one more time. I'm not 100% sure what to do. Uh, let me try to do everything the same way and I don't know, pick something else up instead of instead of what? I didn't really have much junk. I'll give it one more try. I'll be right back with the Lego Boom fight. Alright, I'm back. The only main difference is that I kept the power potion, so I didn't really do anything differently. I still picked up the same cards, but I now have an extra power potion that I'm thinking of drinking right away. Uh, and there's a wraith form. Okay, you know what? No, I'm going to reload and drink it at the end, or when I get attacked, because I think that's better. Uh, but yeah, I basically need to figure out a way to get through this, especially with so little HP, and the wraith form would be the answer. Alright, so uh, let me... Still, oh, I wonder if... Oh, yeah, the RNG is the same, so I'm still getting two Noxious Fumes played here. That's good. Okay. So next turn, I'll be Poison Applied. All right. And then this turn, I'll Wake, which means I can do two more Noxious Fumes and then the um, Tools of the Trade. Okay. So now, hopefully, I'll be able to get the Wraith form this, this turn. Hang on. Let me discard, I don't know, um, this and this, I guess. And I did get Wraith form. Awesome. So I can do Wraith form. And I'm actually thinking of doing the Essence of Steel as well. That way I don't have to worry about playing any defensive cards, okay? Yeah, without the Wraith Worm, I just didn't stand a chance. Um, again, gonna get rid of the attack part cards and just play more Noxious Fumes, okay? And then here, I think, I think, uh, here, let's keep a Skewer and do two more Noxious Fumes and then Skewer, that is enough. Ooh, that is not the card I meant to play, but still, I think with the Poison, I should have enough to kill. Okay. All right, 66 poison. Not bad. Okay, so perfect this one thanks for reloading and, and keeping a power potion. We got our Kalkum if you end your turn without blocking six block. Catalyst. I mean, yeah, yeah, it has to be Catalyst. I'm very happy I got that, actually. Centennial Puzzle, the first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Very nice, especially since I am losing a lot of HP in all of these fights. Okay, I do have to try to preserve my HP somewhat. So let's do, let's defend here, and then I'll do one Noxious Fume. Okay. All right, and then another seven. Can I get a defensive card? Actually, I might be able to kill with a choke. Yeah, let's do choke. And then prepared. That's not going to be enough, right? Actually, wait, noxious fumes with the poison. That is exactly enough. That way I don't lose any HP. That's great. Okay. All right. And then here, they both are attacking me. That's unfortunate. 
I can kill the stronger one with the skewer. Is there anything else I can do? Not... Well, hang on. It's only... Wait, four... Yeah, actually, I can do a strike that will kill this one and then skewer the backliner. Awesome. Okay, phew. Wasn't able to... Or didn't lose any HP. That's good. Got a weakness potion and flechettes or dash. Let's go with the dash. Very powerful defensive card. Yeah, I need to draw some great dashes here. Okay, that's that's a good one here. Yeah, let's do dash and noxious fumes. Okay. Yeah, that prepared was a little unnecessary, but fine. Yeah, I... Oh, boy. Again, I'm dead here. I mean, I don't know what I need to draw. I need to draw a bunch of... Well, a dash at least. At least a dash and then a weakness potion, right? Yeah, nothing I can do here. All right, I guess... Okay, so I'll reload one more time. And I think what I'll do this time... Actually, I guess I'll I'll just die here. Uh, what I'll do this time is I'll go for that shop. And I, I'll try to see if I can buy a bunch of useful stuff at that shop. So I'll try this one more time and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm at the shop. Obviously, I can't afford any of the relics. Blade Dance might be good. Quick Slash might be good. I can afford two of them, so I think I'll do Poison Stab and Quick Slash. Leg Sweep is pretty cheap, though. I don't think I can afford three, right? Yeah, if I buy the cheapest cards, it's more than 129. Not that much more, actually, which is a bummer. But yeah, let's just do... Blade Dance would be great, but not against the, um, the Gremlin Knob. So let's do Quick Slash and Poison Stab here, okay? Hoping that that will help. All right, so Joe Worm, let's... Um, again, I can't defend here, right? Can I draw a defensive card? No. So I'll just do one defend, and then uh, let's do Poison Stab. Okay. And then seven. Uh, this is 21 plus the two poison. That's exactly enough to kill. Good. At least I'm not losing a lot of HP in this fight. Sucker Punch Catalyst. I still think I'll take the Catalyst. Did that change the RNG? I feel like I wasn't offered a Catalyst before. All right, let's see what I get here. I think I'll do Poison Snap, so in case I draw a Catalyst, it'll be more useful, although not by much. Okay. All right, another Poison Snap and play the Noxious Fumes. Take the 14 damage here straight on. Another 14. I unfortunately don't think I can... Actually, wait, if I do this, that's 22. I will need another 30, so I don't have enough for that. Um, you know what? I will try... I will play a defensive card and then Catalyst. I'll preserve 1 HP, and then I'll do Skewer, and then next turn the poison will be enough to kill. Okay. All right, so I end up with more HP than I had before, so that should help against the Lagavulin. Ooh, but my RNG with the potion changed too. We got a weakness potion here, and then I'll definitely take a dash. Okay, so things have changed... Hopefully, oh, and this event is different too. Interesting. Eviscerate and Chops. I mean, I'll give it a try. Got to recalcum if you end your turn without blocking six block. And, oof. Okay, so I am fighting the Lagavulin after all. And immediately I'm going to lose Strength and Dex. So I think I have to rely on Poison here uh, very a lot. So let's just double play the Noxious Fumes and see what happens. I have to admit, having an Oracalcum this early on is very useful. Um, and I actually luckily was able to draw a few defensive cards, although... Yeah, no, I have to risk it. So let's do this, and then I'll do Catalyst, okay? Mm -hmm. Another 18. I mean, this is only 8 block. With the Orkakum, I have 6. So actually, it might be better to throw the Weakness Push. I should have done that in the last fight, too. And then let's do Noxious Fumes here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, there's another Catalyst. That's great. Okay, if I do one more Catalyst, I can get a very early Overkill modifier. But I don't really need it. Okay, we got uh, dodge and roll eviscerate. I don't think I can really make eviscerate work here. I don't have any... Well, I have a few prepared and one survivor. Now, let's go with the dodge and roll, especially with the potion I have. It might be good. Okay, so now I'm fighting the Legavulin one more time. I think I have to do Noxious Fumes here, especially if I have three of them. Okay. Uh, too bad I don't have the dash next turn. But yeah, let's do dodge and roll. I will drink the dex potion to play... Um, sorry, dodge and roll. What did I do first? I did a Noxious Fumes, right. And then do some attacks, because I'm going to wake him anyway. 18. Yeah, I was hoping for another defensive card. Okay, I got Survivor. That's good. And then I'm almost fully defended here. That's nice. Okay. Dash is perfect here. Yeah, I can actually fully defend with Dash and uh, defend, right? Great. And then I can just rely on my poison. Okay, this went much better. Um, let me see if I can get a Catalyst. I cannot. I'll just do Skewer, and that's enough to kill. Great. Only at 14 HP, but... We got Centennial Puzzle, the first time lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Cloak and Dagger is great, let's take that. 
I would love to have some more potions. We got Bag of Probation at the Savage Combat are two additional cards. Okay, so RNG is drastically different now. All right, got the Lice here. I do have Dash. A uh, Skewer, a two energy Skewer will kill the one of them. Actually, I have Orcalcum too, right? Yeah, so let's do Quick Slash and then Skewer. Okay. And might as well do uh, Neutralize. All right, gain one point of Dex that way too. No one is attacking me. Let's do Poison Stab. That should kill the backliner next turn. And then Strike Obnoxious Fumes. That'll kill this guy. Well, actually, it won't kill this guy next turn. I'll have to deal a little bit extra damage. But I have it, luckily. All right, a Block Potion. That is very useful. Very glad I got that. Sneaky Strike Deflect. I mean, I didn't pick up the Eviscerate, right? So I don't think I'll really go for Disgust Energy. Let's take the Deflect. That might be useful. All right, Sentries. With the Block Potion, I feel I'm in a better spot here. So I'll do dash, and then prepared. Which I don't need. I don't think I need a catalyst. So I guess I'll do noxious fumes here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, thanks to your thanks to your calcum, I can survive one extra turn too. I got another dash. All right, hang on. Let's see what else I can get. There's a defend dash and defend. It's only 15 block though. I would need 18. Let me see what this gives me. Yeah, basically, I needed a survivor. There's nothing else that would have helped me. Fine. At least I'm still alive. That's that's what that that is what counts. Okay, another ten. There's another dash. Getting very lucky with these dashes. So let's do dash, and then I think I'll do poison stab. That should be enough, right? Yeah, that should be enough to kill the backliner. All right, nine incoming. I can uh, cloak and dagger and deflect to be fully defended. Good. And then uh, you know what? Let's do noxious fumes. Let's get some poison out. Come. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another nine. Okay, well, at least now I have a lot of defensive cards, so they are definitely helping me. Okay. Yeah, so going for that shop really changed the RNG quite a lot, so I'm I'm happy I did that. All right, I'll do Cloak and Naga to be fully defended, and then just do a strike. Okay, backline is dead, and now I can just... Oh, actually, the poison will kill the frontliner, too. Good. Okay, going well so far. Wasn't able to perfect this one, though. We got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five. A fear potion and another Doctor's Fumes. That's hilarious. Now, let's take the Crippling Cloud. Ooh, Crippling Cloud. Okay, so this one is a little rough. All right, so let's definitely kill the ones that the, uh, the one that is attacking me the most. So let's do dash on the Sneaky Gremlin. And then probably just a strike, right? Yeah, let's do a strike. And then I can fully defend with the Deflect. Oh, and then I can get one extra point of dex thanks to the Skewer. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to be weakened, so I think I'll try to rely on the Poison. Oh boy, I do have Auricalcum. Um, wait, actually Skewer will kill one of them too, right? Yeah, let's do Skewer, and then I'll take two damage thanks to the Auricalcum. Mm -hmm. Another eight. Um, well, I can fully defend with something like Cloak and Nagger and Deflect, of course. And then let's do Noxious Fumes, and I'll just let the Poison handle it. I think I should be able to do that, yep. All right, uh, Skewer on the backliner is not enough, so let's just do Noxious Fumes and Skewer on you. That's why I don't have to worry about things, and I can just uh, wait on the poison, so I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. All right, there it is. Okay, uh, Collector Bonus on Deflect or Flying Knee, or getting my first set of Flying Knees. No, let's take the early Collector Bonus on the Deflect. I don't think I need to... Oh, actually, should I have gone for a Rest Set and Rested? Might have been a safe thing to do. Let's do... Well, I'm fully defended thanks to the Orcalcum and all the deflects I have. Let's do Cloak and Nagger. Let's do Skewer here. Shiv, Neutralize. Okay. Yeah, I'm more likely to kill this guy next turn. And I'm more likely to not be attacked by this guy. Um, looks like I'm going to take some damage, right? If I do Crippling Cloud... Actually, no, I think with Orcalcum I should be fine. Only six incoming, right? Mm-hmm. And then here I can do another Crippin Cloud, and that should kill next turn with the poison. Yep. All right, we got a Strength Potion, Expertise Outmaneuver. Not a huge fan of any of them, but I guess I'll take the Expertise. I find that, well, maybe Outmaneuver would have been better. Tough choice. Okay, they both are attacking me here. That's not good. I do have to defend with Cloak and Nagger and Deflect. I would like to do... Actually, Crippin Cloud would allow me to be fully defended thanks to the weakness. And might as well play a Shiv here. Okay. Okay, so this guy will be dead next turn. And I have full protection thanks to the Orcalcum. The Orcalcum is actually helping me quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And then next turn, the poison should kill, right? Uh, nope, Skewer does it, though. Okay. 
All right, blur accuracy, definitely blur. I barely, actually, yeah, I barely have any shift cards for the accuracy to be worth it. And I am going to risk perfecting, so I'll upgrade the catalyst. Those are probably the first things I need to get upgraded. Okay. All right, speaking, oh, I don't think I'll do Crippled Cloud because I won't get attacked. The weakness won't be that useful. Let's do the Noxious Fumes here. All right, and then apply more poison. And I don't think, well, I could get gain a bunch of block, but no, I think I'd rather focus on dealing damage. Although I will need to deal a lot of damage next turn. 35. So Skewer is 21. Plus 14. I need to deal 31, though. Anything I can do. If I throw the Fear Potion, that gets me closer. Actually, Strength and Fear Potion would be enough, right? Let's try that. It's not the best split value, but it is a split value, so that's good. Hmm. Alright, and they both are attacking me here, so I don't stand any chance. 11, 12, 23, I'm getting attacked for 32. Actually, if I do something like dash, dodge, and roll, and then the block potion, that's 28, I need 32. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not able to perfect this one, unfortunately. All right, I do have the catalyst here, so that's good. Let's do catalyst, and then I think I'll do skewer to help with the transformation. Okay. And let me see if I can survive this one, actually. Backliner's dead thanks to the poison. And then, yeah, here I have, I can do purple and cloud and another catalyst and that should be enough next turn too yeah it was just that one turn i wonder could i have played something differently it would have been hard to perfect this one so i don't i don't have high hopes of being able to do that got a duplication potion and venom or burst i'm definitely going not going for popper because i could get collective bonuses i think burst is probably better and venom requires a lot of attack cards that i don't have burst would allow me to burst something like catalyst for example I would really like the extra energy, but none of these are energy relics. I think I'll go with the Black Star then. Elite Drop Initial Relic when defeated. Yeah, at least I'll uh, gu almost guarantee the Alex Shiny modifier for me. All right, so I think I saw something on the left side. No, no. All right, so only two Elite Path. Oh, actually, only one two Elite Path, and that, that only path goes in the middle left. Yeah, at least I got one, two, three, four question mark rooms at the beginning, so I guess that's fine. So this is exactly why I wanted to have the burst to be able to burst the catalyst. I just need some poison to start off with. Um, and yeah, having extra energy would have been great. Uh, let's just do dash and def... Actually, yeah, let's do defend. That way I don't take too much damage. Mm -hmm. All right, another 20. Crippling Cloud is pretty good. Let's do Crippling Cloud for the weakness. And then I think I'll just, I'll just let the Arcalcum defend as much as it can. Ooh, they're both are attacking me. That's not often that that happens. All right, let's do dodge and roll, deflect, try to defend as much as I can, and then play a poison snap too. Okay. All right, and now let's see if I can get something good. I cannot. There's really no reason to burst the blur. It's a bummer. All right, well, at least one of them is going to be dead. But um, the back line, I would need a bunch of catalysts to be able to kill... Skewer, it's 21. I have neutralized. Can I draw a catalyst? Even one catalyst alone won't be enough, but let's try to draw one. No, I just I just wasn't able to. It's a bummer, so I lost 45 gold. Yeah, that is that is somewhat of a big loss there. Alright, fine. Um, okay, so dodge and roll, all out attack. Let's take the all attack to have some AoE damage as well. Oh, this would give me 15 bites but am i if i'm maximizing the score it will also give me a collector bonus so let's take it and then i think i'll transform two cards i don't think i need the strength on the first turn let's transform two more noxious fumes that skewer and, and um storm of steel storm of steel is actually pretty good I do have a shop here i don't think i need the relics although two blocks might be interesting let's first take a backstab all out attack is good and let's get a collector bonus on deflect so unless if i want any of these I won't be able to afford the two blocks, but I think I'll go with the two blocks. At the Savage Combat, choose one of three random colorless cards, and at the Chosen card to your hand. I think that's pretty good. All right, so right off the bat, tools of the... Um, sorry, toolbox is coming in useful, although... Uh, yeah, let's do the Discovery, sure. Okay. All right, I can pull the defend with the dash, play the backstabs, and then Discovery gives me a Corpse Explosion. Very nice. Okay. And then here, let's do Poison Snap, Catalyst, and Skewer. Okay. I just need another Skewer to be able to perfect this one. Good. 
Okay, so here I got Piercing Will, Bouncing Flask. Piercing Will is a great defensive card. Let's take it. I definitely don't need as much poison as I could get with the Bouncing Flask. I have to continue to upgrade the Catalyst. I could even consider upgrading Bursts at this point, but I think Catalyst might be better. And then going the right for two more Elites. Remove a card. I mean, I can probably remove one of the Bites. I don't think I need that many. And then here, probably upgrade another Catalyst. There's one more unupgraded catalyst, right? Where is it? Here. Come. Okay. I think next I'll start upgrading the uh, backstabs. Okay, here we've got Mercury Hourglass at the start of your turn. Deal three damage to all enemies. Very nice. And then have to go left for the um, two elites. Let's upgrade the backstabs first. Okay. I do have one duplication potion. I have to be careful with when I use it. Ooh, the problem with Apotheosis is it won't be cheap. But I, I think I have to risk it. And I have a Storm of Steel. I think that's worth it. Let's, let's do Apotheosis. Max Taps, it's 45 damage. That will kill one of them. And then I need only 14. I can do something like Dodge and Roll and Deflect. And, I mean, might as well do another Deflect. Yeah, I wasn't able to play the Storm of Steel, but I am able to fully defend here. And having everything upgraded is a huge help. Although then, actually, wait. If I do Piercing Well, I am fully defended here. Great. And then let's do Poison, Stab, and Catalyst. Okay. 12 Poison. That's not bad. Another 14. Yeah, another Piercing Well. Awesome. Let's do Piercing Well. Let's do Noxious Fumes and then a Bite. Okay. This guy will be dead next turn thanks to the Void. And I just have to worry about the Backliner. All right. Seven incoming. I do have the Blur. That's great. Actually, let's do Blur, Cloak, and Dagger. And then I'll do All Out Attack. Come. Okay. And then I'm fully defended here. Okay. I got really lucky. Didn't even need to use... Oh, I can Burst the Catalyst. 45 Poison. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Got Mob Bank, when you view Climate Flow, gain 12 gold, no longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. And Tanks on Rod, when you lose HP, lose one less, as well as a Weakness Potion and a Collect Bonus for Storm of Steel. Let's take it. Alright, Snake Plan. This might be rough. Um, I am getting attacked. Let's take the Master of Strategy. Oh, Piercing Well is great here. Let's do Piercing Well. I'll be fully defended thanks to the Yorkalkum. Let's do the Backstabs. And then I do need to try to apply Poison here. I'll just do Storm of Steel then. Okay. I know it's not exactly the poison I had in mind, but, you know, it does deal a lot of damage thanks to the boot. Mm -hmm. Another 21. I only have 16. I mean, that's better than nothing. Let's do the 16, and then I'll do another Noxious Fumes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here I can do Catalyst, one bite, and then a second bite. That heals me back to full. Good. Here I got an energy potion, eviscerate sucker punch. That's the second time I'm being offered an eviscerate. I still don't think I'm ready for that. Let's take the sucker punch instead. And then here I got the grim leader panic button. Am I getting being attacked? No, no. So I don't think I need the panic button. Let's take the impatience. Okay, there is an all attack. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to use the impatience. All attack will kill at least one minion. And then Mercury Eyeglass will kill the other one next turn. So I don't think I have to worry about that. Let's do poison stab, play the back stabs. See if I can get a noxious fumes. I can. All right, let's do Noxious Fumes. And then, yeah, I have to do All Out Attack here. Okay. All right, now there's a chance that the backline might decide to attack me this turn. Nope, nope, I got lucky. Good. Let's do a Quick Slash, Poison Stab, and All Out Attack again. Okay. All right, no more All Out Attacks to be able to kill the minions. Let me see if the Expertise gives it to me by any chance. No, so I have to do Piercing Well. Ooh, that does mean I will get attacked next turn. I'm guaranteed to be attacked next turn, right? There's nothing I can do to kill... Yeah, that's a bummer. All right, let's do Piercing Whale and then just play the Noxious Fumes. Uh, just one Noxious Fume, I guess. Oof. Okay, so I need I need the um, I need another Piercing Whale next turn. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of incoming here. Yeah, that's that is a lot of incoming. I do have the weakness with the Crippling Cloud. Is there anything else I can do? I have an Energy Potion as well. So let me try. Let me drink the Energy Potion. Throw the Crippling Cloud for weakness. Then do Expertise. At least, almost, yeah, it's not even that all minions will be dead. Um, can I kill the backliner? I don't need that much. Wait, so if I do Storm of Seal, that gives me... Actually, I have Weakened too. although with the boot... Hang on, so minus 15, I need to do 32 damage, so that's at least... No, that's, that's at least 7 cards. I only get 5 cards from this. If I duplicate the Bite, that's not going to help, right? If I duplicate the Crippling Cloud, that's also not really going to help. 
yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do. And because there's nothing I can do, I don't think I'll have to, I'll waste the duplication potion. So let's just do a bite and then storm of steel. Yeah, so even if I duplicated a bite, so the enemy will end up with 7 HP. If I duplicated a bite, that would have given me an extra um, 5 damage, and I need an extra 7 damage. So a little bit of a bummer, but yeah, that's fine. Not much I can do. I should have played a bite there just, just to heal a little bit. If I take the tiny chest, let's take single. When any cards into deck, you may raise your max HP by 2 instead. Um, I mean, I only need 2 events to get curses, right? So yeah, let's not take tiny chest. Every 4th question mark room is a treasure room. Yeah, I think I'll take... Uh, did I get a collective bonus on poison stab already? I thought I did. No, I didn't. Okay, let's grab a collective bonus on poison stab then. Okay. All right, dramatic entrance is pretty good. Let's take that. Do have twenty incoming? Although I do have a lot of block here. Let's play all my attacks, and then um, let's do dash. Lady deflects. Be fully defended that way, and then uh, between bite and storm of steel, let's do bite. That does actually more damage, or I guess it does the same amount of damage thanks to the boot. Um, I think I'm going to burst it prepared, hoping to get something good out of it. Yeah. yeah, dodge roll and blur is probably decent. And I can do sucker punch to make sure I can... Oh, actually, no, no, no. Let's do sucker punch. Actually, I'm not going to play any of these because I will um, defend less than if I had just, you know, left the Orcalcum for its on, on its own. Okay, so Skewer will kill one of them. But then I'm guaranteed to be attacked next turn. That's fine. Yeah, let's just do Skewer. Okay. Right, I'm actually not getting attacked. Okay, I thought I'll be guaranteed to be attacked, but no. Um, I guess I'll just do. Uh, let's just do crippling cloud here. Okay. Should try to apply poison so I can. Uh, as soon as I get a catalyst, I can use it. Uh, I think I'll just do dash here and then bite. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, poison stabs, and I probably should have played a crippling cloud instead. Actually, that was enough to kill. We got a Dex Potion, Poison Stab, Escape Plan. I already have enough Poison Stabs, and unfortunately, I, um, the Poison Stabs I have on are, aren't upgraded. So, yeah, it would have been better to have an upgraded one, but yeah, fine. Let's take the Escape Plan instead. And I think I'll upgrade the next uh, Backstab here. Yep. All right, so, Champ, Secret out Weapon, Drama, Cancer, Dark Shackles. I think I'll take the Dark Shackles, try to defend as much as I can. All right, good. So, let's do the Backstabs. All right. We'll consider drinking here. Let's do Dark Shackles. Only seven incoming. Uh, wait. I mean, I have a defend. Let's drink the Dex Potion. And then I can fully defend with the Deflect. Do Noxious Fumes, Bite, and Skewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twelve incoming. Yeah, nothing I can do here, right? Yeah, I have to recall, but that's not really going to help. Let's just do Noxious Fumes then. <coughs> All right. Um, luckily, I'm not being attacked here. I think I'll try to apply more poison with the Crippling Cloud and then I'll attack. Come. Hmm. All right. Still not getting attacked. Okay. A little strange. Um, let's do Neutralize, Poison Stab, Expertise. Yep. I was hoping to get a Catalyst. Good. Oh, I wonder if I can kill before the big transformation. Still not getting attacked. All right. Yeah. So I just really need another Catalyst. Uh, let's do Skewer here. So that way, next turn, the enemy will transform, right? That's four turns that I'm not getting attacked. Unfortunately, it also means that next turn, there won't be any poison on the enemy. Still, so I'll try. Poison Stab, Noxious Fumes, and Skewer. Okay. Uh, that's a bummer. If I had the Catalyst one turn earlier, that would have killed. Tripling that would have also given me the Overkill modifier. All right, let's do Escape Plan. If Black gives me one extra block, I guess I'll do that. And then, yeah, Catalyst, Noxious Fumes, and that's it. I'm barely alive. Okay. Yeah, 1 HP. Oh, I, I miscalculated. Wait, hang on. I was getting... Oh, I thought I was getting attacked by 32. Uh, I was getting attacked by 36. So without the Tungsten Rod, I would have been dead here. All right, let's do Crippling Cloud and Storm of Steel. Okay. And then the Poison should be enough next turn to kill, right? Wow, okay, that was close. I almost I accidentally died there. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so, Tools of the Trade is probably much better than Phantasmal Killer, especially because I'm not really going for damage. I'm going for poison. Ooh, Pandora's Box up and pick out transform all, all strikes and defense. Since I don't have any strikes, it will only transform defensive cards. This is still not an energy relic, and Buster Crown would be interesting, but with binary, I wouldn't get any more card rewards. 
So I guess it has to be Pandora's box, and I'll transform... I can't believe I got another set of Noxious Fumes. All right, at least I got a Collective Bonus on Tactician, and I already had one Expertise, so that's a Collective Bonus on that, and a Predator. Okay, so that's not too bad. In terms of points, I got a lot of out of this. Okay. So, one, two. Only two Elites. Now I'm worried even with the Black Star, we'll be able to get the um, I like Shiny Modifier. Yeah, and only on the right side. Or actually, I can start on the left, get three Question Mark Rooms in Early Shop, then the Elite, and then after this point, I'll get two, uh, three more Question Mark Rooms, or I can try to go for a Late Shop, if there's no chance for me to get Curses. Okay, Mind Blast. Finally, Mind Blast would be great. Actually, that would also give me the Overkill Modifier, right? Yeah, so let's do Mind Blast for the Overkill Modifier, then Backstab you. Uh, see what the escape plan gives me. And I'll probably just do... Actually, let me do escape plans twice more. Yeah, and then I'll just do Noxious Fumes. Let's do Skewer to gain um, one more point of dex. Okay. All right, here I actually have a bunch of incoming. I can kill one of them with the... Wait, actually, can I kill with the Predator? Well, I could kill one of them with the Predator. Or I can just do Piercing Well. Yeah, let's do Piercing Well and then rely on the Arcalcum. Actually, it won't even be fully enough, but fine. Close enough. Okay. I probably should have played a Noxious Fumes instead of that um, bite at the end. Alright. Another 16. Um, I do have the dash. That is Actually, I can do, just do dash and uh, dodge and roll, right? Yeah, let's do that. Dash, dodge and roll. That way I don't take any damage here. I think I'll just rely on the poison to help me out here. Yeah, this guy will be dead with the poison next turn. Actually, is that right? Yes, yes, that is right. I have to, deal, I have to worry about the other two. Um, let's get rid of this. See what the prepared gives me. Okay, then do expertise. Fully defend with the deflect. And then I think I'll just do... You know what? No, no. Let's do Noxious Fumes. Let's fully defend... Uh, depend on the poison. And then here I can get rid of the, tact the Tactician for extra energy. And then... Um, wait, how do I do this? How do I do this? Let's see what the expertise gives me. I have lots of bursts, but I don't really need to burst... Yeah, one burst is enough, or one catalyst is enough. So the weaker one is the backline, right? So if I do catalyst and then poison stab and bite, that is enough thanks to the boot. Good. Okay. All right, so we got fruit juice. Uh, that's good. I'll drink it in a second. If I take backstab, my opening hand will be full, but I think that's better than what I currently do. Um, yeah, let's drink it right now. Okay. And then so I have six backstabs at the beginning. I don't think I need... Well, I could take transportation. I should have extra energy. All right, so let's do two back steps to kill. Um, actually, does it have to be upgraded? No. Yeah, it has to. Okay, and two back steps to kill you, and then I think I can just do storm of steel here to kill. Right. Good. Got a dex potion, expertise, piercing whale. I ha already have enough expertise, right? How many piercing whales do I have? Not enough. So let's get a collective bonus there. Mm -hmm. And then here, I don't think there's a hope for me to get enough relics, so I think I should focus on cards. Did I have enough Crippling Cards? I just picked up enough Expertise. I don't have enough Crippling Cards. All right, let's take another one here. Master of Stab is fine. Eviscerate. Yeah, let's take Eviscerate and then... Oh, no, no, no. Let me not take the Eviscerate. I thought I could afford it together with the Chemical X, but I definitely want Chemical X because I have the Skewer. So it'll be useful to have it. Chemical X in general is pretty good, especially if I see a melee. So let's take Chemical X first. The effect of your cost X cards are increased by two. I'll do Master of Stab and Crippling Cloud. Do I want a poison? Not really. I think I'm happy with the... Sorry, not not a poison. A potion. But I'm happy with the potions I have. Ooh, please keep me in Mind Blast. I don't think I'll take any of these. Or these. All right. No Mind Blast, unfortunately. I think I might just... Well, it has, doesn't really make sense to get Max HP. Let's take Max HP here. Here I could take Secret Technique. That might give me Catalyst. And here I can take Violence. Yeah. Getting Max HP is not going to give me a higher score. So there's really no reason to. I think I'll take a second duplication over the dex potion. That might be good. Okay. And then here, I... Did I... I think I had all my back steps upgraded already, right? No, no, there's still one more that's not upgraded, so let's upgrade that. Okay. All right, so basically I'm dealing 90 damage on turn one. That's pretty good. Let's take the violence for more damage, so, since I should have extra energy. All right, so let's kill the minions first. Backstab one. Poison stab. Backstab two. You got the escape plan. Yeah, and then a bite. All right, and then the max tabs on the Reptomancer and then violence to play one more bite. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any poison for the catalyst to be useful. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to accept a bunch of damage here. I don't think I really have a choice. Let's burst the deflect, do another deflect, and then, yeah, let's just accept a bunch of damage. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
And now, of course, the Master of Stab is also a little useless. Um, let me get rid of the Deflections. I think the Storm of Steel should be enough. Um, I won't be able to do Storm of Steel and Skewer, though. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll do Skewer and then another Skewer with zero energy to kill the Backliner. Okay. Another 39. Uh-oh. I do have Piercing Well. That should help. I think I should focus on defense here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, still taking one damage. Actually, no, zero damage thanks to the Tungsten Rod. That's good. And then, unfortunately, there's not much I can do here. Let's do Quick Slash. Poison Stab, I guess. And then Skewer. Okay. All right, not getting attacked here. Massive Stab is being very useless. Let's just play the Noxious Fumes and play a Bite. Yeah, this is what happens when you fully rely on the poison and you don't have any at the end. All right, am I dead here? I do need a lot of block. Let me see if I can draw another defensive card. Um, well, I guess this this has to do. 25. Yeah, no, I, at least I'm not dead. That's, that's a good news. Mm -hmm. All right, and then can I kill the backliner? I do have all-out attack. That should be enough. Let's do two noxious fumes and an all-out attack. And then I think the poison should kill next turn. Wow, all right, did end up losing a lot of HP here, so can I get a few more bites played? Yep, there's one. Okay, yeah, good enough. We got Strawberry up and pick up Racer, make sure we buy seven, and Tough Bandages, one of you discard a card during your turn, gain three block next turn. Blur, Deadly Poison, I need to collect bonus on Blur, right? Yeah, let's grab that. Come. And then here I got the Darklings again. And of Greed might be hard to use, but it might not be a bad idea. Especially because I have a skewer as well. Alright, so I can do three back steps to kill you. And then I'll do, hang on, 14 plus 15. Yeah, no, I think I have to do, trying to figure out how to do this. 21 plus 30 is 41. 28 plus 30 is 58. 28 plus 15 is 43. That's not enough. All right, so I have to do two backstabs and then a two energy skewer. So I think I'll do a noxious fumes. Accept the backliner and then kill this one with the skewer. Okay. Yeah, I need to deal a lot of damage next turn to be able to kill here. Let me see what the escape plan gives me. All right, deflect, neutralize. That's good. Prepared gives me a dash that I don't really need. Let's see what the violence gives me. Okay, massive stab is great. I can do um, quick slash, massive stab again, and then skewer kills. Good. All right, here I got a power potion, which might be better than the weakness potion, I think, actually, unless I have the awake one. No, I have Dodon Deco, so that's pretty good. Dodge and roll, Endless Agony. I don't think I got to collect most on dodge and roll. Didn't, okay, so let's grab one there. All right, and then, yeah, going straight for one more lead. We got Ornamental Fan. Every time play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. That's very useful. And then a regular fight here, the Jaw Worms. Um, violence might be good again, yep. Okay, secret technique would allow me to get catalyst, but I don't really need. Uh, I don't really think I need it. Um, I will need a little bit of block though. Here, let's um, 45. I can kill the backliner. Actually, I can kill these two, and then the backliner, and then I can fully defend with the cloak and dagger. Great. Uh, let's also try to get some more attacks. Uh, yeah, let's heal back up with the bites and then play a skewer at the end. Yep, pretty good turn there. Right here, I think I'll do Deflect, um, Blur, Expertise, and then the Storm of Steel. That also gives me a bunch of block. Actually, I can just kill here, right? Um, yeah, let's just kill. Okay. I was trying to wait for a bite, but no, I think this is fine. Sucker Punch, Finisher. I mean, sometimes Finisher is great. Let's go with the Sucker Punch, though. The weakness might be useful. All right, Giant Head, Secret Weapon. I mean, yeah, sure. Let's see what I get. Um, I don't know. Um, I guess Master will Stab for another zero-cost attack card. Predator. For two extra damage. I already have a skewer. Let's grab another skewer. Why not? All right. So then um, I'll do noxious fumes. Play the backstabs. More backstabs and then expertise. Okay. I can do deflect. All attack does more damage. Let's do that. Unfortunately, I did lose a skewer because of that, but that's fine. All right. Not getting attacked here. I I wonder if I should play the dodge and roll. Probably don't need it. No, I think instead I'll just do. Predator and Storm of Steel. Okay. All right. That gives me extra dex too. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I have a Catalyst here. That's not going to be super useful. Let me see what the escape plan gives me. No block. Uh, well, I can discard. So I, 
How much block do I get? Three block for each discarded card. So I need to discard five cards at least. One, two, three, four, five. So I can play one card myself. So I think I'll play the Noxious. Or should I do? Let's do Catalyst and then Storm of Steel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should have realized that because of the Ornament Fan, I only need to discard two cards. So I could have played the Noxious Fumes as well. All right. So let's do Noxious Fumes. I think Blur is useful here and I'll do Poison Snap. All right. Okay, big attacks are starting up. Uh, so 13 incoming, 30, sorry. So I have a Sucker Punch to weaken. That brings it down to 22. And then I have Dash. That will give me enough block. All right, let's see if the Prepared gives me anything good. I mean, yeah, sure, let's play this. Why not? 35, no more weakness here. And not a lot of defensive cards either. Although I do have weakness again. Yeah, let's do Crippling Cloud, Dodge and Roll, and Deflect. That's the best I can do. And now I'm obviously going to take some damage here. Okay, another 30. Oh boy. All right, let's do let's do prepared gain energy with the tactician, okay? Then do piercing whale brings it down to 24. I can do blur deflect. Okay, so I'll, at least I'm fully defended here and I think I'll do predator for extra card turn next turn. I don't think I'll play the violence this year. Mm, 45. So, I think if I burst the storm of steel that'll give me an up block, right? Let's do violence first. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to burst the Storm of Steel. Let's do Deflect and then burst the Storm of Steel. Okay. Yep, that's enough block. And then uh, the Orcacum will give me even more. Okay. I already have the Overkill modifier, right? So I don't have to worry too much about that. I just have to worry about defending this turn or killing. Actually, I don't need much, right? I only need 18. I have 17. Oh, boy. Um, Is there anything else I can do? Not really, right? Yeah, 17. Unless I all out attack the tactician. No, I all attack the wrong thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the worst. Now I can do. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I can do Crippling Cut. Okay, that is enough. Phew, that was a close one, actually. I almost died there, too. We got Ink Bottle, one of you. Play 10 cards, draw one card, as well as Old Coin. Um, up and pick up, gain 300 gold. Poison Stab or Flechettes. I already have enough Poison Stab. Let's take the Flechettes. Who knows? Maybe I can get a collector bonus out of that. All right, here I'll definitely take the Master of Strategy. Uh, card draw on turn one is really useful. Let's play the Backstabs. Uh, not the Master of Strategy just yet. Okay. And then let's see what the Master of Strategy gives me. I would like to apply more Poison, so I think I'll do Crippling Clown Catalyst. I don't think I need to apply. Actually, I could have done Sucker Punch for an extra turn of weakness, but no, I think let's focus on Poison here. 27. I think I can just do... Let me see what I draw with the um, ink bottle. Yeah, let's just do Noxious Fumes and then Skewer 1 and then Skewer 2. I could have done Sucker Punch for an extra turn of weakness, but I think this is fine. Mm -hmm. 50. I don't have a lot of poison yet. Um, let me do Deflect, Dodge and Roll, Bite, and then All Out Attack. Okay, with the poison. Yeah, I'm taking, still taking 3 damage here. Okay, finally a Catalyst. That should definitely help. Let's see what this gives me. All right, let's do Catalyst. So 39. Okay, so I still need a little bit of damage. I think now I'll do Sucker Punch for the weakness. Okay. And one more Catalyst would be ideal here. Uh, no, I guess instead I'll do Deflect Expertise. Secret Technique could give me a Catalyst. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, 120. It also gives me the Overkill modifier again, I guess. All right, another piercing wheel unload. I think I have enough piercing wheels, right? So I guess I'll take an unload. Let me just double check the piercing wheels. Uh, no, 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 I do have enough. Yeah, let's do unload. Okay. And then I have to risk getting curses. Yeah, as much as I would like to go for the shop and then... Uh, this is annoying. So I need to have both of these events give me curses. I have to risk it. Okay, yeah, already that's not going to happen. Since I'm not getting enough max we might as well heal back to full. And then, okay, so I did get a shop after, uh, at the end, so I didn't lose anything by not going for the shop there. All right, so focusing on cards, I need a collector bonus on Sucker Punch. I believe I have one on Deflect already, right? Yes, I do. Oh, um, I have... Wait, I have Knights? Okay, I didn't realize I had that. I mean, Deflects. So, uh, Prepared is fine. I think now I'll take an Eviscerate. Actually, should I do Dreamcatcher? Yeah, let's do Dreamcatcher 2. Um... You know, 150, 160. Yeah, I can do footwork, eviscerate, and then I can afford a dream catcher. One of you rest, you may add a card to your deck. And then I can even afford a potion, but I don't think I need it. You know what? Might as well take another deflect then. Sure. 
And then here I'll arrest just to get another card opportunity. That's another deflect. Let's take the Predator, though, because I think that gives me a collector one of some Predators. Transportation Discovery. Let's see what the Discovery gives me. All right, 20 incoming. So let's start with the Backstabs. Okay. All right. And then let's see what the Discovery gives me. Riddle Withholds, Doppelganger, or uh, Dagger Spray. I think Doppelganger would be great with the uh, Chem Collects I have, so let's take it. I do need a bunch of block, though, so I might have to duplicate the dodge and roll. Let me actually see what the power potion gives me. Noxious Fumes, Wraith Form, or Footwork. Uh, Wraith Form might help me. Let's do Wraith Form here, and then I don't need to du duplicate the dodge and roll. Let's just play it once. I'll do one Noxious Fumes and then Doppelganger. Okay. All right, I'm fully defended here. Lachette's is only 12 damage. That might not be worth it. I think I'll do Crippling Cloud instead. Yeah, let's do Crippling Cloud, then Poison Stab, then uh, Noxious Fumes and Flechettes, okay. Alright. No more Intangibility next turn, though. Okay, um, there's a Catalyst, there's Piercing Well. The Piercing Well is really good, let's do Piercing Well. So now I'm fully defended thanks to the uh, Calcum. Um, I guess I can duplicate a Catalyst, might as well, right? I don't think there's anything better to duplicate. It'll even do... No, Blur would not allow me to be fully defended, so let's just do Sucker Punch. Okay, 54 poison is good, but not great. Still need to deal a lot of damage to kill the backliner. Or I have to defend against 24. Secret Technique. Do I have... Actually, I can get Violence, right? Or I can just get another Catalyst, but that won't help me next turn. Something I can do that will also help me next turn. Anything I can burst. No, I think I'll just do Catalyst then. All right, let's do Catalyst. They'll kill the Backliner. And then I'll just do... I don't even need the Bites, right? Well, let's do one Bite and then Storm of Steel to target this one. Okay. Still have one Duplication Push. And can I fully defend against 32? I do have Dash. That'll be 18. With the Weakness Push, that might not... Actually, that might... No, that might not be enough. I have to try, though, right? Yeah, so let's duplicate the Dash. Alright, and then Sucker Punch brings it down to 24, I have 22. That's a bummer, yeah, so I'm one off. Alright, so I was somewhat close to being able to perfect this one, but ultimately wasn't enough. Um, so here, I think I'll do Noxious Fumes, Poison Stab, then Violence, and then play the Storm of Steel after... Actually, I don't think I need to neutralize, so let's do Storm of Steel here. Okay. Yeah, too bad I got the Piercing World this turn, I would have been much better next turn. Okay. At least I don't have zero decks anymore. Uh, 32, I do have Piercing Well again, that brings it down to 20, and then I can do Blur, Deflect, and Cloak and Dagger, that's 15. Yeah, there's no chance I could have perfected. Maybe if I didn't drink the Power Potion at the beginning and had the Wraith Form later on, I might have had a higher chance of perfecting, but ultimately, I mean, this is fine. I just need to survive next turn, and then the Poison would kill. We're doing on time, 47 minutes, yeah. And this also re required a reload to be able to sort of cheat my way through this, so... Definitely not a good fight. I think the key was going for that early shop on Act 1, which um, to maximize the score was the wrong decision, but ultimately I think that's what made the difference. All right, so I... Let's see. I got 1292. That's, yeah, not that great. I missed all the bosses, right? Yeah, I didn't get a single boss. Uh, only perfected one of the eight elites. Wow, this is pretty bad. I got uh, 17 collector bonuses, so that definitely helped. But, yeah, I do not expect to have a high score here. 1292 is pretty abysmal, and that's even on the second reload. Okay, so clearly some people were able to do much better. So Pelts has 1642. That's, wait, I had 1242. So even if I perfected everything, that's another 1442. And then if I perfected all the elites, or, yeah, that would be 1642. I wonder if that's what Pelts did. That's a very impressive. Congratulations there. CTA was 1569, 75 points, about 75 points less. Um, but because it's not a multiple of 45, I suspect different RNG. Monkey Bone, 1362, that's closer. Wait, actually, 1242 would have landed me in 23rd place. So I think what happened here is that some people, and Steven here with 1211, I think some people got lucky somehow and were able to perfect everything, and other people, just like me, struggled throughout the whole run. I mean, and my real score is, um, yeah, 3,500. I died early on, right? So, um, wait, can I go back to the leader scores again? Yeah, yeah. So I, I am really curious. Uh, I think Super Nintendo pointed out yesterday that today's run was crazy. So I, I wonder if Super Nintendo... Actually, do I see Super Nintendo score? 
Oh no, it pushed me down again to where I was. Yeah, so I wonder if um, there is some some RNG that caused things to be drastically different. Having the backstabs at the beginning, like earlier, might might work, might be useful. Uh, yeah, I'd be very curious to hear what happened. Let me know in the comments what you did. And then, yeah, again, apologies for all the different cuts. Let me know in the comments if you don't like. So what I do is I don't actually cut, but I just uh, remove the audio and speed things up by a thousand percent, just so you can still see that I, I didn't like reload or anything. You can see the video, but it's just sped up. But let me know if that's actually annoying, more annoying, and if I should just do hard cuts instead. Um, you know, that will be, that's not different, no difference to me, but um, it's, it's really your preference. All right. Um, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.